What's good my people on Facebook and YouTube? It's your boy Bosco back again with another video. Hopefully you're having a great day wherever you are in the universe. As you can see by the title, we're doing something a little bit different. Of course, I've told you guys about Marshalls, about Ross, TJ Maxx, Nordstrom's, things like that. I've even mentioned Goodwill before, but not like this. We're about to go inside a few different locations. I stopped by like three of them. Let me know if you guys see something you like in there. I'm pretty sure you will, or else I wouldn't upload the video. If you do, smash the like button, share it so more people out there can see what's going on on this channel, and subscribe if you happen to be new with notification bells on just to be updated every single time I put out some content. We found some pretty spicy stuff, man. Let me know if you guys see what you guys like. Let me know your feedback. Just let me know everything in the comment section below. Without further ado, I'm about to get into the video. You dig? Let's go. Nah. Good morning here at Goodwill. First person bright and early. Hopefully you find some good things. If you guys enjoyed the video, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you smash the like button and subscribe, you dig? Now we're just waiting for the doors to open to Goodwill. First find of the day. White tags are half off, another car coming out. First find we do is a, a Daywood DVD VCR combo. I'm not gonna, I have a budget, a strict budget today. I'm trying to stick to it of only less than 20 bucks. I really came here for the books, but I wanna show you guys some of the things you guys can find. I only seen Confidence on eBay for like 60 bucks. I seen one on uh, Amazon, but a black colorway and a slightly different model for like a hundred or something. But I don't know, usually DVD players are really good to get, but I have a budget. This is uh, going for $14.99. So I got to pass on it, but let me know what you guys think. As you can see, the car is pretty light but it is early and you know i have to be diligent and take my time with this and make sure you know what i'm saying so you got to make sure you got what you need this book right here i'm gonna shop this as new on amazon you see the condition is really good it's pretty much perfect so that's gonna be new it's uh no price tag so if i get that for a dollar today that'll be perfect uh this one here also uh, price tag on it is $2.99. I want to shop this as new, but I feel like when I take the sticker off and I put the Gooby gone, I don't know if that's going to be able to repair it right. If I don't, if I'm not able to put it as new, it's like $9, which for $150 for $9, I don't know. That's cool. And then this right here, you guys will see the comp right next to it, but it's $3.99 sealed and everything. So this is definitely going with me. These are pretty much definitely going with me. Now, finally, this one right here is something else I found that I think is pretty dope. This Pendleton, got a little fraying on the tag there, but it's Pendleton is real, 100% wool flannel and a size medium. Um, the only thing making me debate on this is 649. Um, I see comps going for about $30 on this. So $6 for $30. I think that's a good, I think that's a good thing, right? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. I think we're, we're kind of settling down on what we're going to get. So they bring out some games. Didn't really see nothing. That's Halo. That's classic. The price is $3.99. So that's just making me pass on them. But if you guys see something that's worth it, this seemed like it had some money, but the profits, not really... Some other, some Halo 2, Gears of War 3, Assassin's Creed, nothing too, too crazy. Halo 2, Splinter Cell. And these things are a little cheaper, I might consider them, but Call of Duty, same thing, like $12 on it, but not really worth it. Wolfenstein, I thought that was something because I remember playing this on the computer game. It's going for like $9, but you got to pay dinner $4 for it. Not really worth it. Let me know if you guys see something that I should have picked up, though. Seeing some pretty good apparel, bro. Here's a Columbia jacket right here. Tags on the inside. What do y'all think about this? This color is pretty dope. The quality on it is good, too. It's just $9.49, so it's out of my budget today. But I don't know, man. What do you guys think about this? I'm going to look it up because you never know what it could be worth. We're just going to check it out and see. New Balance Jacket 2. That's crazy. Let me see what else is going on here. This new Balance Jacket. Not too bad. It looks mean. It 
looks pretty vicious. Thick quality, only $9.99. I think that's like a steel low key. Not reversible, it looks warm on the inside. We're gonna look this one up too. Yeah, this jacket to me is pretty fire. Clean, but it is, you know, it's not in my budget right now. This is fire though. It's only going for like $20 though. This would be something I would definitely pick up for myself. This is here for $9.99. But we're not here for myself. We're here for the hustle. You feel me? Uh, this this new balance jacket, same thing. It's pretty dope. $9.99 also. But got to let that thing go. You dig? Found a few more shirts right in the batch. Got another polo Ralph Lauren. Got that horsey right there. Looks pretty dope. That's pretty clean right there. $5.99 for that. Size large. Then we got dry fit Nike. Wow, Nike swoosh popping right there. Five ninety nine on this, also size large. And we got that Ralph Lauren I showed you guys earlier. Different tag from the other one. You know what I'm saying? That looks like a vintage thing. And we got some some of this bad boy right there. But uh, Tom the Bahama. You know what I'm saying? And I think we got one more shirt to show y'all real quick. Found these all in a row. Another Polo Ralph Lauren. Got that horsey right there popping. What do you guys think about these shirts? Which one would you guys bring home with you? It's such a true statement, and I say this all the time. It's such a true statement. What a great tee. These look pretty cool. Nothing for me to take with me, of course. Not too bad. What do you guys think about those? What else we got here? These are in great shape. What kind of shoes are these? We might have to look these up. The other ones right here. They're going for $5.99 though. Power. Probably some type of uh, shoes like the other ones we have. We'll look those up just to see what's going on. So we're uh, back at another Goodwill. Let's go ahead and see what this is. Two Goodwills in one day, you dig? A6 popping. Not too bad. Now this Goodwill here is really, really organized as you can see. We got some other people in here, so I want to kind of be quick so I can get to everything so somebody else doesn't buy it before we get to it, okay? What do y'all think about these in the comment section below? Not too bad. $9.99 on those. Okay, we got some, uh, what are these? I don't know. Got some Dame Willards though. Some Dame Willards. Pretty good condition for $24, see? Different price you go to, different different locations you go to, more prices. They have two pair of these. Uh, are these these are Derek Rose or Dame Woods? I'm drawing a blank. I think these are D Roses. Twenty four bucks though. Should be that nine dollar price point. You know what I'm saying? At least in my opinion. Are these some golf shoes? You know what they got? Nineteen dollars for some golf shoes. You can probably get like 40 for those, but I'm passing. I'm being very picky, bro. You gotta be very picky, you know what I'm saying? These are not bad, actually. The colorway for this is pretty fire. Oh, we got some LeBron soldiers in the building. Pretty beat up and damaged, but I mean, if you clean them, you probably could make, you know, make them look nice. $19, I pass on them, but maybe you guys might like them. And these Sam's, clean. Look at these. You size is some dunks. Uh, $19 on these, $20 on them also. You know, they got some things here, but they definitely know what they got, so they price them accordingly. Uh, I look like those Kobe, but they're not Kobe's. We got some Sacconis over here. Or not Sacconis, I thought they were. Nothing too crazy on the other side. Got some boots down there. Nothing too crazy. If you see something I didn't speak on, let me know. More of the women's shoes over here, which I'm sure there's some good value, but I'm not looking through all that right now. More women's shoes. Really organized here, though. You gotta, you gotta give it up for the organization. Looking in this jacket section. Look at this thing right here. The Celtic Football Club, 1998. Carling. It's a Nike thing here. Tags is in there. These are pretty dope, bro. But the thing is, $11.99. Can't rock with that today. The comps didn't look too good. Then you got some champion right behind it. Sweater don't look too bad. Like a sweater jacket, champion sweater jacket. 
Little pockets there. Got a Adidas thing right behind it. Adidas tag, 2X. Color's not bad at all. Adidas also. This one here is definitely a little more priced. Let's see what this is. 999. A lot of stuff is priced pretty high because we are in a upper scale area, I guess. But if I see anything else, I'll show you guys. This looks crazy. What is this? What is this? Uh, never heard of it. Here's the hat section real quick. Here's a uh, NFL, you know, Chargers hat. Snapback San Diego. It's a Reebok one. It's authentic on there. No price tag on it. What other hats they got here? SU, don't know who that is. Oh, Syracuse University. Syracuse. And here, Canada since 86. Okay. All right. Not too bad. Not too bad. Kind of half of this one. LMU hat, Syracuse hat again. A few things here, you know, depends on what you got. Somebody must have went to Syracuse University or something. All these Syracuse hats in here. Oh. Drop my stuff. Um, um, Thrasher. It's like a Thrasher Trucker Hot 599. I feel like it's overpriced. Arcalite Cinemas. Not too bad, man. What do you guys think? found two things that I want to leave here with but I'm torn between one of them because you guys see this one's brand new it's just that the packaging is slightly ripping off can I sell this on Amazon and it'd be okay it is new I don't think the person would return it but you just never know and I don't want returns so you guys can see what the comp is for it that's what's making me you know three dollars for that should be good then we got this one right here, which I'm pretty much more leaning towards getting. It's $5.99 on it, but it's going for like 40 bucks. Good ASIN, but not many reviews. So I don't know. Pick them or not. Let me know what you guys think. They also got some blazers here for those of you guys into the blazers nowadays. What are these going for? $19.19. $19.99. Not I mean, that's, I feel like that's price. Levi's, we see these at Marshall's. For less than this, they got for 20. Wow. That's the thing, bro. Some places got some stuff, but their prices just be like retarded, bro. You need to bang for your buck. Like the soldiers, I understand. $19 kind of has a LeBron James name to it, but still, man, that's a lot, bro. I don't know. Nike free runs, these are not bad. No insoles, 20 bucks for those. Overpriced. DC's, skate shoes, $11.99. I don't know, bro. I don't know. These vans, the colorway's not too bad. $14.99, still overpriced. Should be $9.99 and below. That's what I say. So I'm here at my third Goodwill. This one's over here, like in Chatsworth. Got some new balances, kind of ran through though. They got some pretty good shoes here. I'm gonna show you guys what I've been finding, man. Hyper Dunks right here. Not bad at all. Let me get you guys to show, let me show you guys what's in the case really quick. These are indeed fire, bro. I wish they were a white tag to get them for cheaper off. They got a few shoes right here, that's pretty dope. You got these LeBron Nines. Not sure the name of these. 24 bucks for them though. Let me know what you guys think about these in the comment section below. Not sure what size they are. A seven Y, so it's a U size. Pretty dope though. Nice colorway. They got those. Then they have these dunks. Don't know much about dunks, or at least not these ones. 19 bucks also. Not too bad. They got some new balances. Some of the newer model new balances here. 35 also on those. Then look at these. 54, they're smart. Look at what was donated here. Look at these Uggs, bro. I feel like these are like $200 retail or something like that. They're authentic. Pretty dope. Pretty dope stuff they got in the counter. Some Harachis. Uh, some penguins. I don't know what else those are. Pretty dope stuff, though. 
You just gotta go through and look and find what you can find. You never know what you'll find at Goodwill. And like I said, I'm going to different ones. You gotta go through multiples in a day to find some good stuff. It's unfortunate that I'm on a super tight budget, but I did find some good things as I will show you and have shown you in the video. Just got some 3M on them, some Freeze. I'm not, not sure what these are even called. If you have seen these before, let me know. I'm not too sure. Pretty good. Excuse me, sir. More stuff, more stuff. Nothing too crazy. A6 down there. Some more Roshis over there. Some new balances. Not too bad condition, $9.99. That's what all the shoes should be. All the shoes should be $9.99. Press those on deck. Okay. I think these are $12. Condition's not too bad on these Prestos. What do you guys think about these in the comment section? I'm leaving them, of course. But the not bad. Not bad. I found this in the appliances, but I'm restricted, unfortunately. $8.99. It's going for like $25, $30. <laughs> but can't sell it. Move on to the next thing. It's just how it goes. This looks like this is brand new. Wine puzzle. So I found something indeed. You guys will see the comps, what it is right here. $3.99 for that. It's definitely worth it. Let's go ahead and see if we see anything else before we get out of here. You dig? Back here at the counter, you see they got a lot of games. If you guys see something I don't see, let me know. I see Tour Story, but the prices are just still a little too high for me also. Uh, that camera right there, that looks like it's legit. I don't know what it is though. $14.99. I don't know if people are really gonna mess with it, so I might be able to leave it and come back for it. I don't know. Look at the gaming consoles, just crazy. I'm not gonna lie, this Miami Dolphins hat is pretty dope. For was it like $8.99 or $7.99? I'm good, but what do you think about them? Let me know. They got a whole bunch of these T-Money T-Hats though. It's a lot of them, but these are not real. Shout out to all the subscribers from Mexico, you dig? It's like the first 360, white 360. They got a lot of 360s here, man. PS2, PS2 with two controllers. We, if you guys are ever serious about getting something that you see in my videos, man, DM me, my Instagram is below. DM me, and if you have PayPal, we can make it work. Crazy though, right? Track cleats. These look like some pretty good condition. Track cleats. $9.99. I only see one shoe, but it does have all the spikes in this one. We got Puma slides over here for the ladies. Got a mixture of things going on over here, man. This is not bad, bro. Not bad at all. Sketchers. Got these like hyper dunks for the little ones. Uh, some new balances. These are actually in pretty good condition. $19, of course. You probably can get like 50, 60 bucks for these. I'm gonna look them up just to see, but I'm not taking these home because, of course, that $19 price point is crazy. Some Nike free runs, pretty beat up though. Got some free runs in the building. Fan of the Three Stooges. Put that back where it's at. I wanna talk about what we saw earlier though. Some more free runs. We saw those. Let's go and see, man. There's just some things here, I'm sure. Okay. Kid size boots could be worth something. Not gonna waste my time on that though. This is that new stuff, that new tech with the Ute, with the uh, Adidas. Look at these sweaters. Some of these things on here look like they might be dope. Cal State Northridge Matadors. That's pretty chunky. That's like a Nike sweater. Nothing, nothing. Something that stands out. If I see something that stands out, like, see, that stood out to me. Seattle. Shout out to anybody watching from Seattle. If you are from Seattle, make sure you let me know in the comment section below. Quicksilver. Mark Echo. What is this? I don't kind of know what that is. I don't know what that is either. Pretty dope. We have a clothing rack going out to the South Florida. If you think what the white tag today is, 50% off. The one thing I don't understand when they say that clothing rack shit, it don't be, oh shit, a bodysuit. I've always seen people get bodysuits, and I'm jealous because bodysuits usually are worth something. $24, though, I'm not spending that on it. Jersey, Jersey, let's go see what this clothing rack is talking about just to see. 
don't think we'll take anything. Not too bad, though. They got an assortment and array of stuff here, bro. Pretty fire. Pretty big Goodwill also, man. It's important to go to multiple Goodwills in order for you to really see something worth your while. You feel me? So just to revisit. Okay, they got these Hirachis here. Pretty beat up, though. But just to revisit, this is probably the best find here. These LeBron 9s, bro. I don't know the name of them, but they are fire. What do you guys think? Cop pass, fire, or trash? More Uggs. Fire. That gold plate on the back. What are these going for? 24. A lot of Uggs and stuff like that go here. You probably can get like 50 or 60 for them. I don't know. But I'm not even messing with that stuff. Just wanted to show y'all what was here. Some LeBron's is fire, though.